you have a question for AJ, go ahead and press the raise hand button. We'll get started here with Edward Carball. Hey, AJ, uh, I just wanted to uh, ask you, um, thinking back to March of 2020, when you were in New York, you were talking about how you had just gotten over the, the injury with your knee and stuff and everything got pushed back. And then obviously you fought so well, picked up that awesome sub, sub of the year category. Um, I'm just wondering if the extra time uh, from the pandemic, everything getting pushed back, and now you have some time before your next fight. I'm just wondering if that's just helping you uh, refine your skill more for an already talented fighter. Uh, definitely, man. Um, I'm I'm the type of person, you know, I can't stop training until the job's done, you know. So uh, I'm just staying active, you know, kind of staying busy, trying to enjoy the time off, snowboarding a little bit, enjoying life, and. Uh, you know, just kind of not burning out. You know, you don't you don't want to stay in the gym too much and then end up burning out. So uh, I'm just enjoying life a little bit, kind of coming a week in, a week out, and just having fun. You know, um, just kind of waiting, waiting, and once I see who the next opponent is, um, at that point, that's when I can begin to really take things serious. Mm. Okay, we'll move along then to uh, Abdul Patel. Hi, AJ, how you doing, mate? Good and yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I want to ask you on the um, initial lineup when you guys came out, um, you said that um, you'd prefer to fight, um, uh, sorry, you prefer to fight Sanchez opposed to Pitbull. Um, wh why, why was that? Um. I feel that just puts in the, the kind of the icing on the cake at the 145 pound division um, alongside just to fuel the fire, um, the previous altercations and, and just badgering mouth that has been ran between him and I. Um, it's time to put that to an end. So uh, I, I wouldn't mind whooping his ass and then going up the 155 pounds and taking the belt from Patricio at 155. But uh, regardless, I'm looking to eat the cake. Sounds good. Sounds good. And 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 saying that, do you, do you think that's an easier fight for you, or or is it it is what it is sort of thing? Um, I wouldn't say I styles make fights, so uh, I wouldn't say either opponent is easier. Um, I feel their first fight was really close, so I'm I'm honestly kind of excited to see how the second one plays out. All right, we'll go to Steve Jewin. AJ, thank you. And we've heard some talk on this call already about the winner of this tournament being considered the best 145 pound fighter in the world. I'm sure you already consider yourself that, but you've been in Bellator this entire time. So can you feel that way if you haven't fought the guys like Max Holloway out there? Or are you comfortable with being the GOAT in one promotion your whole career? Um, obviously, that was always a dream fight, but. Uh... Um, I'm comfortable where I'm at right now, you know, got to get, get some things done here. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we, we just got to sit down and see how things go. You know, um, once this tournament's over, um, yeah, it's back to the drawing board. And I heard you mention that you were doing some snowboarding with the extra time that you've got. How did you get into that and what do you like about it? Um, it's just control. You know what I mean? It's hips. It's, I don't know. Oh, it's like it's fun. I got into it. I actually snowboarded like when I was 17, and then my cousin goes, so he got a season pass, and I just previously got a season pass with him. And uh, I've been taking my 14 year old little brother too. So I mean, we've just been going up there having fun and uh, just enjoying enjoying the snow. You know, I'm thinking about going up to Tahoe. They got they got big powder up there. So all right, we'll look forward to that. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. Yes, sir. Likewise. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. We'll go to Chris Santiago. Thanks. Hey, AJ. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. So um, a couple of months ago, you had a dream where uh, you faced Sanchez in the finale. Uh, no, that was a couple of years ago. Oh, a couple of years ago. Sorry. Um, is there, Have you had any more visions uh, recently, like any more dreams that uh, predict the future? Nah. Just kind of. Kind of waiting to see where things play out. Not really, you know. Um, I don't know. Gotcha. Uh, do you think Ain't we might have to? 
<laughs> Do you think we might have to call you Mystic AJ McKee? <laughs> Mystic Merc. <laughs> Getting that cage and Merc people. Um, that's the mercenary for you. Got it. Uh, gotcha. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good one. I like that. Dude, Donna? all the names is fire on this thing. I can't hey, get over AJ. it. When they add that. How you doing? Not too bad. Uh, I, I When I started reporting, I came from the world of soccer. And in soccer, it's a, a cardinal sin before you're you're playing for the trophy. If you touch the trophy... This is like terrible look. You've got that belt. You're cradling it. You're very much holding it as if you are already the champion. Uh, do you feel like that that benefits you, or are you concerned about the the superstitions around that? Nah, I like this thing, dog. This is motivation. This this don't belong to me. This is up for the grabs. You know what I mean? Patricio has his that he's won, but this bad boy right here, nobody owns this. Nobody has this with all the names on it. You know what I'm saying? So this this is eye on the prize for me. That's why I'm checking this out. You know what I mean? No, no one has my name on anything. To have that, you got to be a bad man. Well, the names are on the belt already, before, all of the names of the people who competed? Uh, yeah. yeah this oh, that's pretty is, cool. This thing's ready to go. Woo-hoo. <laughs> You um you've trained with with uh, Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor. I wanted to know because he is such an active guy online. He's got all these different personalities we see all the time. What's he like in the gym behind the, the scenes? Exact same. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same. I'd be like, Ant, shut up. <laughs> like, he's uh he's a good dude though, man. He's uh he's a handful. He uh, Ant's Ant. What can you do about it? You know what I mean? Maybe in and out of the gym. We'll go to Danny Segura. Hey, Jay. Um, do you see an advantage in sort of getting done first as far as being already in the final? Obviously, here you're watching uh, Emmanuel Sanchez and, and Patricio go at it, and, and you're kind of, I mean, not taking a break. I'm sure you're training, but, um, you know, you kind of got that out of the way before any of them. Um, I wouldn't say it's an advantage. I'd say everything happens for a reason, and... Uh, just inside of the cage, outside of the cage, everything happens for a reason. And I think things have lined up perfect to uh, accommodate me and the way my life is at the moment. So uh, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say it's an advantage, but uh, yeah, thing, things things always happen for a reason. You know, you just got to ride the wave and see see how things play out and deal your best cards. And I believe you uh, have talked about this before, but it is the plan to win here, obviously, and uh, crown yourself champion at 145 pounds and move up to 155 and do a, do a champ thing? Definitely. Definitely. That's that's definitely the plan. That's been the plan since, I mean, we could go to interviews back in, what, 2017, I was saying this. So uh, that, that's the plan. And uh, last one, obviously, we saw Michael Chandler do his UFC debut and, and do quite well. Different weight classes for now, but um, what what'd you make of his debut? And, and also, was it kind of nice, uh, a little a little bit, I guess, of not, not validation, but look, the the Belter products can not only hang but you know thrive in the UFC as well. Um, no, congrats, Hat, hats off to him, man. He he's definitely making some noise over there. Uh, Chandler's a beast. He's got great wrestling. He's a great power puncher. Um, for him to go over there and do what he did, I knew he was capable of it. He surprised the hell out of me, I'll tell you that. But, uh, yeah, congrats to him, man. He, he's doing big things. Um, at the end of the day, Patricio beat him. So, I mean, like I said, styles make fights, you know what I mean? And that, that's the name of the game. So, uh, I, I feel my, my style is superior to any other style that's out there. I just I know how to adapt at the same time. So, um, we're going to have some fun. For sure. Thank you, AJ. Our last hey, AJ. Kevin? Oh, sorry. Hey, AJ. Uh, listen, you know, with this, you know, talks about you going, uh, f- uh, being crowned the champion, 145, 155. Big question is, you know, is there an expiry tag on your featherweight career, especially knowing that your good friend Aaron Pico is coming up with the ranks? Um. Yeah, definitely. I've already, I'm, I'm looking to go up to 55s, you know. Um. And honestly, my weight cut to 45s wasn't bad this last fight. Um, I, I just, I think getting older, getting wiser, doing things the right way, um, being more mature, you just learn more, you know? So um, I think with the skill set I have, 
I can just continue to stay in the gym, lift weights, get bigger, and add muscle, add power, add speed, add agility. Um, 55s is definitely in the future. Why not? You know what I mean? I could put a stamp on the 145-pound division and go up to 155. And not many people can do that, you know? Um, that's when you start making super fights, you know? That's, that's what it's about. People want to see super fights. Um, those money fights are where it's at. Shit, I might go up to 170. You never know. <laughs> Who knows? Why not? You know what I mean? I train with Joey Black Eyes Davis, bro. 133 and 0, four time in CAA champ, who's a 175 pounder. Like seven and 0, eight and eight and 0. Like, like we, you know what I mean? Body shot. We got, we got guys. Like that's my cousin. We've been wrestling since we was kids together. Like this is what we do. You know what I mean? It's a lifestyle. So, um. No, nobody's going to bring a better wrestling pressure than that. So if I can deal with that at 170 70 pounds, I'm, I'm not really worried about too much. You know what I mean? Stand up. I just got to keep them off of me. That, that's my thing with him. I got to keep them off of me. And I don't think anybody can do that. And if you can, I'd like to see it. <laughs>